Hello everyone, welcome to Blogging My Passion YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you the top 10 WordPress SEO plugins. If you have a WordPress blog or website, search engine optimization is one of the important aspects for your WordPress blog. If you use correct search engine optimization techniques for your blog posts, your blog posts can rank better in search engines and you will get more traffic. And there are a lot of WordPress plugins available for this purpose and I am going to show you the top 10 must use search engine optimization plugins in your blog. Number 1 Optimize posts and pages For optimizing your WordPress posts and pages, you can use the plugin Yoast SEO. This is one of the most popular plugins in WordPress and a lot of bloggers use this plugin for WordPress search engine optimization. If you see, there are more than 3 million active installs of this plugin. That means a lot of people are already using this one. So what is optimization of your WordPress posts or pages? Optimization for your WordPress posts or pages means you need to have the right keywords in your post and also right density of your right density of the keywords in your post and there are a lot of things like that and this plugin will show you all the options for each of your WordPress post so that you can do those search engine optimization for each of the page or post correctly so that your pages will rank better in search engines. So once you install this plugin it will show whenever you are making a, a new post or a, whenever you are creating a new page this plugin will show different options below the post so that you can uh, put the right keywords for your post and it will show different options for search engine optimization of that particular post and you can set all those options so that you will have a greater chance for your website post for ranking better. So this is a very important plugin you need to use. Number 2 Optimize image sizes if you upload big images into your WordPress blog and if you insert those images into your WordPress posts, your WordPress site will become slower because whenever somebody tries to access that particular post or page, it has to load that big image also. So the speed of your WordPress blog will decrease dramatically based on the image sizes and speed is one of the important characteristics of search engine optimization because if your WordPress blog loads very quickly, search engines will consider that as one of the factors for ranking your WordPress posts. So your image si sizes should be optimized and WordPress Smush plugin, Smush image compression and op optimization is one of the plugins that does this job very easily. Once you install this plugin and once you start this process, it will check all of the images in your WordPress blogger website and it will optimize those images. That means it will compress those images to the right sizes so that your WordPress pages or posts will load very efficiently, very quickly. If you see, this plugin has got more than 700,000 active installs. That means a lot of bloggers are using this plugin and there are a lot of five star ratings also for this one. Installing and operating this plugin is very easy. Once you install it, with just one click, you can optimize all of your images. You don't need to optimize each and every image separately, but with just one click, it will optimize, it will reduce or compress the images uh, with just one click. You don't need to do it image by image. So this is a very useful plugin and you need to have this WP Smush plugin in your WordPress blog. Number three. Optimize image attributes. How does search engines know what your images are? What Whenever you are uploading any images, the search engines cannot differentiate what those images are. So each image in your WordPress blog, they need to have some characteristics which are called some attributes. They are the most important attributes are alternative and title. This alternative is also called alt tag and the another one is a title tag. So you need to have correct alt and title tags for all of your images in your WordPress blog. And for doing that, SEO optimized images is the plugin you can use. Once you install this plugin, uh, using this plugin, you can set all the alt and title tags for all of your images in your WordPress blog. 
So this is one important plugin that you need to have for your WordPress blog. Number four, optimize speed. As I mentioned earlier, speed is one of the important characters of search engine optimization. If your WordPress blog loads quickly, search engines will consider that as one of the characters and your WordPress blog posts will be ranked higher. Whenever a visitor comes to your WordPress blog, the request goes to the server and it goes through the code and then it contacts the database and you know it has to do a lot of processing in the background which will take some time for the response to come back to the visitor that means for the visitor to see an actual post it takes some time because it has to happen dynamically in the background but if you have static pages in your wordpress blog they will load very quickly because they are static and all the information is readily available it doesn't have to go through all the programming logic and it doesn't have to go to the database to fetch the content it just has to retrieve the stat static page and it has to show to the visitor so the ro the response will be very quicker so the plugin that you have to create for that you have to use for creating static pages our static post is W3 Total Cache. Once you install this plugin and once you run this plugin, it will create static pages in your WordPress blog for any of your WordPress posts or pages so that whenever a visitor com comes to your uh, WordPress blog, uh, the, the response will be, um, the static page will be served as a response instead of the request going through the programming logic and uh, uh, contacting the database. So this is a very important plugin and a lot of bloggers are using this plugin if you see there are more than 1 million active installs of this plugin so this is one of the plugin that you need to have uh, in for your wordpress blog if you want to have good wordpress seo number five optimize post sizes for optimizing your WordPress blog post sizes, you can use the plugin Auto Optimize or you can also call it as Auto Optimize. What this plugin does is normally when you in your WordPress blog, uh, if you are a developer, you see different kinds of files like JavaScript files, uh, styling files, HTML files, PHP files, all these files and all these files normally they occupy some size and what this plugin does is it will compress those files. It will minimize those files by removing the white space in your file. So let's say if one file occupies, uh, let's say two kilobytes of size in your WordPress uh, blog. And if you use this plugin, since it removes the white space, the size might come down to one kilobyte. So that means since the size decreases, the website speed also increases a lot. So for minimizing the file sizes, it will, once you install this plugin, uh, using this plugin, you can minimize all the files like the script files, you know, the styling files, HTML files, uh, PHP files, all these files, you can minimize all these files. So the size decreases drastically and the speed of your WordPress blog increases enormously. So this is one of the plugins that you need to have for your WordPress blog. Number six, find and fix broken links. Once you start blogging, you link your WordPress posts or pages to some external WordPress sites or some other sites or you internally link your posts and pages. And sometimes what happens is these external websites, they may move to a new domain or they might be uh, completely down or you may move your internal pages or posts also. So in those cases, these links will break. And uh, if you have a lot of these broken links in your WordPress posts or pages, search engines will treat them as bad for search engine optimization and your WordPress posts ranking will decrease. So you, time to time, you need to find out these kind of broken links and you need to fix them. And the plugin that you can use to find out the broken links in your WordPress blog is broken link checker. So once you install this plugin, it will check your WordPress blog and find out if there are any broken links and you can fix those broken links so that you'll have a good search engine optimization and your WordPress posts will get better ranking in search engines. So this is one of the plugins you need to have for your WordPress blog. Number seven, plugin performance. 
Once you start a WordPress blog, you'll install a lot of WordPress plugins. And some of these WordPress plugins might cause problems for your search engine optimization because they respond very slowly. So because of some of these plugins, since they respond very slowly or since they take a lot of time uh, to give the correct response, your WordPress site will become slow and this is bad for your search engine optimization. And you need to have a plugin to check other plugins to see if any of those plugins are not working properly so that you can replace those plugins with other plugins with similar functionality. And P3 plugin performance profiler is, is a plugin which will check other plugins in your WordPress blog and see if any of those plugins are causing issues or responding slowly so that you can fix them. Number 8. Informing to search engines. Once you start a new blog and whenever you are posting new WordPress posts in your blog, you need to make sure that you inform the search engines so that search engines whenever you make a new post search engines once you inform them search engines will crawl your website for this new post and rank them accordingly so for informing the search engines google xml sitemaps is one of the plugin what this plugin does is once you install this plugin it will create xml sitemaps and those sitemaps you can submit it to different search engines like Google, Bing, Yahoo, etc. And once you submit these XML sitemaps, Google will crawl through that sitemap and it will rank your posts accordingly. So this is one of the plugins, search engine optimization plugins that you need to have in your blog. Number nine, delete unwanted data. Once you start a blog, you may create a lot of posts in your blog and you also try to install a lot of plugins and uninstall the plugins. Because of this, what happens is a lot of unwanted data will be stored in the database and you need to remove that data time to time because it might slow down your WordPress website. So in order to remove that unwanted data, you can use the plugin WP Optimize. So what this plugin does is, uh, let's say you have, uh, you, let's say you want to create a new post. Whenever you are creating a new post, a lot of revisions will be stored in the database so you have a lot of copies of your published post in the database and this plugin will detect all those revisions in the wordpress database and it removes all those revisions not only the revisions of your posts but a lot of other unwanted data like metadata and also uh, any plugins that data that is not needed it will find out all that unwanted data and it will delete the data so that your website speed will be increased a lot so this is one of the plugins that you need to have for your wordpress blog number 10 internal linking linking to other sites are within your wordpress site is an important aspect of search engine optimization and this SEO internal links plugin will automatically link the important keywords in your WordPress post to other WordPress posts in your blog. So this is a very important plugin. Using this plugin, you can create internal links within your WordPress blog, which is very good for your WordPress search engine optimization. So this is one of the plugin that you need to have for your search engine optimization. Okay, everyone. So these are the 10 must have WordPress SEO plugins that you need to have for your WordPress blog or site. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my blog at blogging my passion. You can find my channel on YouTube at blogging my passion. Thank you very much.